Hi friends, welcome to Moody Blooms. I'm Mary Ellen and today we're going to review string succulents or trailing or vine succulents. So some of my favorites are the, of course, the string of turtles, um, the string of bananas, string of pearls, and the string of tears. There's so many beautiful string succulents to choose from. Now, string of hearts is one of my absolute favorites. They come in a standard version and then a variegated version. And uh, Seropegia woodii is their scientific name, but they're commonly known as string of hearts, rosary vine, or the sweetheart vine due to its heart-shaped leaves. And the leaves are pale to dark green in color and sometimes lined with bright light blue. String of hearts look great in hanging baskets, a few feet up, or trailing as vines in a container. Flowers bloom in shade of a pale magenta with deep purple centers. The variegated version, also known as the variegated string of hearts, loves bright light. It takes time and light for this plant to get more pink. Definitely more rare and a bit more expensive and a slower grower like many variegated plants. They always typically grow slower than the non-variegated version. Trailing stems form tubers at the nodes and beautiful white, pink, gray, fleshy heart-shaped leaves form. There's also a string of hearts, Silver Glory, and it produces these beautiful silver covered leaves. Another variety of the string of hearts is the Orange River. And it's actually more green you actually won't see much orange unless it is stressed and it will be a slight orange hue on the leaves and also on the underside of the leaves. It's also a fast grower like the original string of hearts. Next is the Seropegia woodii heartless, commonly known as the string of spades, also sometimes referred to as mini star. It shares some similar characteristics to the original string of hearts. However, there are some differences. They're actually a brighter green and they have an even lighter green modeling. Now, similar to the string of spades is the string of daggers, also sometimes referred to as heartless strings. And they're a little bit different than the string of spades. The leaves of the daggers are actually much more narrow than the string of spades, and they have a slightly different coloring, although the care is similar. Next, we have the calico kitten. These heart-shaped leaves shade from green to purple, and there's also a variegated version that comes in a rosy pink, creamy white, and a green. The stems actually arc as they grow, perfect for arrangements and a great spiller plant. These succulents are easy to grow indoors and out. Curio rolianus, formerly known as Senecio rolianus, is commonly called the string of pearls. It gets its name from the British botanist Gordon Rowley. It was originally placed in the Senecio genus and it's been recently switched over to the Curio genus. This succulent is very popular and low maintenance and loves to grow in a sunny window. Partial or filtered sun is ideal as they are prone to sunburn if exposed to direct sun without a gradual acclimation. It's a slow growing variety, but is beautiful. It also has a variegated version that is creamy white and green. It's beautiful in hanging pots and a perfect spiller plant to any succulent arrangement. Similar to the string of pearls is the string of tears, but the ends are more tear shaped or like a shape of a lemon. The leaves are bright bluish green in color. Similar to the string of pearls, it also sends up these beautiful white pom pom like flowers. Next, we have the string of nickels. Its scientific name is Discidia numillaria, and numillaria actually means coin shaped, so that's how it gets its name. And the leaves are green or sometimes a bluish gray, and they're flat and round, hence giving them the appearance of coins. And these are perfect in a hanging basket. String of bananas is another popular favorite. You can pretty much find this guy anywhere and this is a beautiful trailing succulent. It has these long, beautiful stems and they're lined with these banana-shaped leaves. 
It is actually a fast grower if properly cared for. It can tolerate high heat and extended drought, but not frost or full outdoor sun. To prevent rot, use well-draining pots and well-draining soil, and only water when the soil is dry. Make sure that you reduce your watering in winter. String of fish hooks is occasionally called gray fish hooks, and these are very similar to the string of bananas. They have a little bit longer, kind of skinnier leaf that looks similar to a fish hook. Fish hooks grow fast in the warmer weather and even faster if outdoors. If you want to grow the succulent as a house plant, all you need is a nice bright light and to be a little stingy with the water. Remember, less light means less water. Whether you grow fish hooks indoors or out, just make sure you give them room to trail. String of needles is easy to care for. It features these very thin leaves on long stems. It's also an incredibly fast grower, just like the original string of hearts. Great for a true collector. Ruby necklace is a trailing variety with pudgy bean-shaped leaves. The whole plant can flush a striking shade of magenta when moderately stressed. And this can happen either by direct sun, drought, or cool temperatures of around 50 degrees Fahrenheit or 10 degrees Celsius. Fine white tufts of hair grow in between the crevices that are between the stems and the leaves. Also, it produces small yellow daisy-like blooms and it easily roots from stem cuttings. Looks great in hanging baskets because of its vibrant colors. The leaves are so cute. They're plump and blue green, and then they turn this bright reddish purple with purple stems. Peperomia pepper spot has glossy green leaves and stems are tinged with red. It's also very easy to care for and great for beginners. The Peperomia pepper spot is one of the more common types of Peperomia houseplants. Its small size and round leaves make it a perfect option for a desk or to fit in a small space that needs a bit of green. Next we have one of my favorites which is the string of dolphins and they have these adorable little leaves that look just like a dolphin. It's actually a hybrid of the string of pearls and the candle plant. If properly cared for it will send up bloom stalks with pom-pom like clusters of tiny white flowers. It's also sometimes called flying dolphins or the dolphin plant or dolphin necklace. String of watermelons looks very similar to the string of tears. It's also a map forming succulent. It has these oval pointed bead like leaves. The leaves are larger and more elongate. Stems are thicker, stiffer, and somewhat more erect. The sedum organianum, also called burrito or donkey's tail or sedum burrito, is definitely one of the best loved trailing succulents. Its pendant stems grows up to three feet long and it's covered with these bead-like green leaves. It's also very easy to propagate. I have two pots of donkey's tail and they are both grown all from cuttings. Just be sure to keep them away from drafts, although cooler winter temperatures may encourage flowers to bloom in the spring. And a bright sun can bring out more of a yellow tint. Green jelly bean is another cute trailing succulent. This sedum is known for its short, chubby, silvery green leaves. They also get kind of a red tip when grown in full sun. There's also a pink jelly bean, and it is also a sedum favorite. It has these fleshy, round leaves that spiral up from its stem. And they vary from a pale green to pink and cream. These beauties also produce clusters of lemon yellow flowers. And finally, one of my favorites, the string of turtles. I actually picked up this pot from Home Depot for $9.99 and it came in this cute little turquoise pot. And as you can tell, they get their name from their turtle-like leaf. These are definitely a slower grower 
of the Trailing Succulents, but definitely one of my favorites. Thanks so much for joining us on Moody Blooms. I hope you learned something new about string succulents. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And we'll see you next time on Moody Blooms.